Hey everyone, my name's Soltech and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before. Hopefully the time of uploading this will have hit 500 subs, which is awesome. Um, so now we're on the road to a thousand. If you want to help out and this video is enjoyable for you, then a like and subscribe would be appreciated. Today's going to be a bit different because we're not on my account. We're actually doing my first account review on Wuthering. Today we're on Tara's account. Now, I know that Tara's been playing since launch, and he sent me a few um, screenshots of stuff on his account, so I am excited for this one because his luck's been pretty insane. He's a pretty low spender, saying he's only spent about £30, which is about $35, but he's also won a few giveaways. Now, I'm not exactly sure what he won in those giveaways or how, you know, how much it'd give his account, but just keep that in mind. Now, real quick, I just want to say that if you want your account reviewed, whether it's Wuthering, Genshin, Star Rail, there's a link to my X or Twitter in the description. If you just want to go to that, you can follow me, you can DM me, um, and then we'll get that sorted out, because I love doing these account reviews. It doesn't matter if it's an insane account or an account maybe that's like not doing too well and you need a bit of help with, just DM me on Twitter. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Now, this is something pretty crazy that I saw on the screenshot. If we go to the map here and open the exploration progress, every single location is 100% cleared. Every chest, every sonance, um, er, er, even every quest in the area is 100% completed, which is absolutely crazy. He still has his beginner's choice convene. That's very funny. Okay, let's not um, dissect the characters yet, but let's actually just see what he's got. We've got a Jian, Verena. Jinshi, Yinlin, um, a Kalkaro Chong Li, and then a uh, Jan Jin. I don't know how to say her name. So I believe that's every premium five star and a few of the the standard characters. So yeah, definitely very lucky. Um, I'm interested in the weapons. Whoa, okay, wow. Yinlin signature, Jian signature. Is that Jinshi signature too? Okay, this account's crazy. Okay, let's start off with Jian. Obviously, level 80. Immediately, you see the 60% 270 uh, crit ratio, which is crazy good. We've got his best in slot, Verdant Summer, of course. A crit rate, Baron Gold, with 15% crit damage, 10% attack, energy regen, and liberation damage. That's crazy. A feather with crit rate, crit damage, attack, heavy attack damage, and resonance damage. Again, attack percent with attack, attack, crit rate, crit damage, and heavy attack. That, I mean, that's a perfect hoochie for uh, Gian. Who's count with crit damage, heavy attack, energy regen, attack. Wow. I don't even know what this is. What? It's got crit damage, attack percent, and crit rate. C0, yeah. Mm, the talents are a bit low. I mean, yeah, them, uh, them echoes are crazy. Okay, let's go Mortify next. 62, 240, a good amount of energy regen with Static Mist from the standard, which is his best in slot, I'm pretty sure. Crit damage one with a bit of crit rate, that's always good. Fusion damage with crit rate, crit damage, energy regen, amazing. Attack percent with crit rate, crit damage, resonance, skill damage, and resonance liberation, that's crazy. This one's not bad, bit of crit rate, bit of skill bonus. Um, Not really a wasted stat there still. And attack percent with a big chunk of crit damage, bit of crit rate. Um, And the resonance liberation damage is really good too. Got him C3, which is pretty good. Um, Again, not the best on the Fortes. We're lacking a little bit. But I mean, with that crit rate, crit damage ratio, even when the Fortes aren't leveled up like a lot, it's still going to hit a ton. Now, I presume he only just got Verena because the energy regen's good, but everything else is lacking a little bit. Only a level 60 rectifier. She's only level 60. Um, None of the Fortes are upgraded except from this one because it gives like a pretty good boost. We'll have a quick scan through these though. Um, That hasn't been upgraded. <laughs> this one's pretty good though. Energy regen with crit rate, crit damage. That's not bad. But that's about it for Verena. Now, Verena's amazing considering you can get her for free with the support ticket, which is what I suggested people do, um, or from the banner that you select, but he's got Encore right now. And to be honest, Taro, I'd be just switching, because you can't switch on that banner, right? Yeah, I would be switching this to try and get another copy of Verena, because even her R1 is crazy. Outro skill Blossom grants the next character continuous healing effect, recovering HP by 20% of Verena's attack for, uh, every 5 seconds for 30 seconds. Which also means you get even more value out of giving Verena more attack. So yeah, if you're not too fussed on Encore, I would suggest that. Let's move on to Jinshi, who also has a signature weapon, I believe, yeah. <clears throat> 66, 257. One thing I will say already, my, like, I have not played enough, uh, enough Wuthering to even get to the point where I'm grinding out Echoes. Like, I've just not been playing that much. I've been on the Star Rail grind. But these, um, 
Crit ratios are crazy so far. R1 again. Again, not the best with the Fortes. I wonder if you just like, you get to a point where it's diminishing returns. I'm not 100% sure. That's a pretty good artifact, like a huge amount of crit damage from that. A spectro damage bonus with crit rate, crit damage. That's crazy. Again, spectro damage, crit rate, crit damage, attack percent. Crit rate, crit damage, energy regen, attack percent. A nice amount of crit rate, resonance skill, energy regen, attack percent. I mean, that's just crazy. I don't know how long it's taken you to get these echoes because they're all act like absolutely insane. Now, he did say that Yin Lin was sharing artifacts with Mortify because they're both using the Moonlit set. And even with her having two echoes missing, the crit rate crit damage like ratio is still pretty nuts. Again, she's got a signature weapon, the String Master. She's R0, which is fine. Now, I won't look too far into these echoes because I know a lot of them would be replaced with Mortifies. And the trace is again very low. When you're like this and you have this many characters to be upgrading though, like I, I totally understand the traces not being maxed. Especially in this game, it seems the traces are expensive to like upgrade. Like it takes a lot of energy where you could get like, you, you know, you could get Varen at the level 80 before you got Jinji's talents to level 8. Let's have a look at Chong Li, who I just recently got two copies of in like 30 pulls, which was crazy luck for me. Pretty good crit rate, crit damage, nice bit of energy regen too. I believe this is just the standard weapon from the banner, which is still great. It's one of her best in slots. She's R0, pretty low on the talents again. Let's have a look at these artifacts though. Inferno Rider crit damage with crit damage and crit rate. Fusion damage with crit damage, crit rate, energy regen, and, uh, energy regen, sorry, and resonance skill. That's a crazy one. Attack percent with 21% crit damage and 7.5% crit rate. That's crazy. Again, dude, look at this. Energy regen, crit damage, crit rate. I mean, this one's still pretty good. You know, you got the chunk of crit rate and you got other um, other stats that Changli uses. That's a crazy Changli. And I don't know if he's gonna build Sanhua, but she does have the Emerald of Genesis. Now we're going over to the Tower of Adversity because I just want to see how far he's got. He he's finished it. Okay. <laughs> he's maxed out the Tower of Adversity too. Now I'm not sure if it's like Genshin where it shows you like the, the stats from each one. I mean, he has definitely beat it. To show you the teams he's used, so for the Hazard Tower, he's used Jinshi. Um, I don't even remember what their names are, to be honest. But it looks like Jinshi's carried the Hazard Tower. In the Echoin Tower, we've got Jian and Mortify as a good combo. Chang Li and Yin Lin um, going twice there. Now I guess he's used Jian and Mortify again for the last uh, for the last area. We'll fight this weekly boss because he's a pretty good just like cushion of damage that we can just see how much damage people do. We're, gonna, we're just going to use this team first as it is and then switch to a Chang Li Yin Lin team. Now with the Chang Li Yin Lin one, I don't really know how to play Chang Li. So you're going to be just like seeing me wing it uh, pretty much. Ooh, 20k on that. Well, I'm seeing some 7k's. Got 3.5 every time we auto-attack. Okay, let's just see how much this ult does before it goes away. Oh, it's dead, okay. I mean, we're absolutely shredded the tail. I didn't even have to use his ult there. Now, for the Chang Li team, we're going to go fight this mech over here. I know that's not the best for Yin Lin because he does have resistance to electro damage, but it's more because I want to try out Chang Li, and he seems like a pretty good target to do that. Again, I have absolutely no idea what Chang Li does, like even slightly. Um, so this is going to be completely winging it. No idea what our ult does or anything. I've had enough. Get lost. I mean, even with the resistance doing that much damage is pretty good. Okay, we're going to do this and switch to Yin Lin. Okay, we're going to run ult. That was a lot of damage. 61k, whoa. What? Oh my god, 21k when you hold. Okay, she must do charge attacks then. For me, not having any idea how to play Chang Li, hitting 61k is crazy. I've never hit a number like that on my account. <laughs> and then she was doing another like 21k just from the like charged attacks. Jeez, that's crazy. Not to mention Yin Lin didn't even have like half our echoes on, by the way. Mortify still has them. Okay, I mean, there'll be a link to Tara's uh, Twitter probably in the description or anything else he wants me to link. If there's not, then he just told me not to. But this account's crazy. I mean, you've got every premium character with, like, a weapon that's one of their best. You know, th this is not signature, but it's still very close to being our best. You've got Yin Lin's best in slot. Um, J uh, sorry, what's his name? Ji Yan's best in slot. Jinshi's best in slot. It's crazy. 
I think genuinely the most impressive thing about this account, though, is the 100% area completion of every area. Like, that's crazy to me. Every area quest, every uh, blob fly, every supply chest, sounds, casket resonance beacon in every area is crazy. And it's making me want to play Wuthering more, to be honest, because I've been slacking a little bit. Okay, but yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed. Again, message me on uh, Twitter if you want your account reviewed. And if you enjoyed this video, a like and subscribe would be appreciated. But I hope you have a good rest of your night. See ya.